For years, Michael McKay denied killing his wife. He told police and community members that she died by suicide. Now he's admitted to making that up and has pleaded guilty to second degree murder. It has been nearly four years since Cindy was murdered and today we finally got some justice. Cindy and Michael married in 2005. They had three children. In 2015, the couple moved out to Cindy's farm near Miota. Cindy worked as a nurse and she loved her job. But after their daughter was in an accident, she became a full-time stay-at-home mom. Before he killed Cindy, Michael started an affair with another woman and hinted to the woman he would soon say goodbye to his wife. He also told another friend he would need a place to lie low. And on February 7, 2020, Michael poisoned Sydney. He mixed her a glass of powdered Gatorade and added poison meant for pests on the farm. The dose was lethal. Strychnine poisoning is extremely rare. Uh, if the trial had run, you, we would have heard some evidence from uh, a toxicologist that it, while it, poisonings do happen, you're talking one or two a year. So the fact that that was the poison used in this case does make it extremely rare. Michael called 911 when she began to suffer. She died an excruciating death in hospital. Cindy was 38 years old. She's remembered as a devoted mother who loved her family, especially her three children. She was kind and compassionate. She loved animals and adopted as many as she could. She was well liked in the community. She volunteered with the skating club that her girls were involved with. I could go on all day about all the good she had to offer. The world was a better place with her in it. Michael has been sentenced to life in prison, but he can apply for parole after 10 years. We appreciate not having to go through the stress of a trial. However, 10 years isn't even close to enough time to repay what he has taken from us. He should be in prison for the rest of his life. But the family is relieved that the truth about what happened to Cindy McKay is finally out there. Kendall Latimer, CBC News, Battleford.